back to Penguin Mondays! Yes, it's another Monday, so another episode of The Penguin to talk about. Of course, like every single week, spoilers are ahead, because I'm going to talk about what happened in this episode. Episode 6! How has this show been on for six weeks? Time flies and you're having so much fun in Gotham, doesn't it? Well, episode 6 was probably the slowest episode of the show so far. Probably my least favorite episode of the show so far. But it was still fantastic! Let me get into it. There's a lot of stuff about this episode that I really, really enjoyed. And yes, because I did say it's slow, there were definitely beats and moments in this episode I think could have been a little bit better. But I am also understanding that this is episode 6 in an 8-episode season. It's the episode right before the penultimate episode and the finale. So of course you are going to have an episode which kind of slams its foot on the brake a little bit and lets us, like, meander with our characters a little bit longer to just have these quiet moments before, of course, the gigantic conflict that is coming in the next two episodes. And because I understand that, I do enjoy some of the moments we got here, and there are big character moments with some of the side people, like Victor, who has one of the best arcs and sort of a drives and story arcs in this episode of the entire season. So what's going on in this episode? Well, essentially, you still have this gang war sort of occurring. You have Sofia Falcone and the Moroni family who have sort of joined together, and they are looking for Oz. They want to find him, and they want to kill him. But Oz is pretty much in hiding. He's hiding in the slums of Gotham with his mother and Victor, but he is also now running his own sort of mini gang empire where they are selling drugs from underneath Gotham. And he has assembled uh, pretty much all of the other gangs of New York, New York, of Gotham. Gotham, all of these other gangs that have sort of worked under the foot of the Falcones and the Moronis for years and united them on this idea of, hey, we don't have to be the underdogs anymore. We don't have to be sort of the slaves to the big bad wolves of the Carmine Falcones and the, the Moronis anymore. We can take this city back. And there's an amazing scene where he kind of unites all the gangs and sort of starts this gang war officially, and it's brilliantly done. When it comes to Sophia and Moroni, we get some really good character moments between them where we just listen to, to them talk about their backgrounds and their families. And, and Sophia has this arc where she's looking for the penguins. So she goes and she visits uh, that sort of a stripper that the penguin is uh, very close with the prostitute and they have a decent scene, but it's pretty much just her meandering around looking for Penguin and Penguin meandering around trying to, you know, solidify his place, which is kind of what they've been doing for the last two episodes. Victor has an incredible arc, though. This guy that he owed money to comes back, and he kind of wants to get involved in Victor's life. He wants to get involved with the Penguin and all this stuff, and this is a guy who does not respect Victor, he does not like Victor, and he is probably going to beat the living shit out of Victor if Victor doesn't help him. Now, of course, Victor cannot get this guy involved in the Penguin's business because he's just kind of a street thug, and Victor is now a big, bad, powerful, serious dude. There's a great scene where he goes to Oz and he's going to ask him for help in this situation, and he sort of explains the situation, but Oz is so caught up in his own mind because he has an amazing arc with his mother in this episode that we'll get to, but Victor is asking him for help, but then he goes, you know what? I'll handle it. I got this. And there's this brilliant scene with Victor trying to tell this guy, hey, I want to help you. I'll give you some money, but I can't let you, like, you can't get involved in this business. There's no openings. And the guy's like, fuck you. You're going to get me involved. And Victor's like, listen, if you keep going, Oz is going to kill you, and I don't want you to die. So, like, please, just hear me out. I can't help you. And the guy's like, nope, you're going to take me to Oz right now, and, and you're going to get me in the business. So what does Victor do? He has to make a decision, and that decision is to kill the guy. Yes, it is a brutal scene where he shoots the dude, and we watch as Victor pretty much watches his first victim die. And it is absolutely brutal. And yet again, what an origin story this would be if this guy ends up being Victor's ass. I'm still, like, unsure if that's the direction they're gonna go, but it would be kind of cool. This is a brilliant scene and another highlight of how this show is able to take, even in these slower episodes, these character arcs and do something really brilliant with them. Have these really incredible character moments and development moments that are just so top-notch on TV. And then we get the Penguin who has a gigantic arc outside of just the gang stuff with his mom in this episode. His mom is sick and she is slowly dying and this is a scenario where the Penguin has no control. If she has a sickness that nobody even knows what it is, he can't help her and he feels for the first time like it is something that is out of his control helping his mother versus all these other things, these gang wars, his place in life. Those are things he could fight, he could game, he could cheat. He can win. This is something, though, he's just powerless. And it kind of matches up with the fact that the power in this slum has gone out. And it's freezing in his house. And his mom is really, really cold. And that's something he tries to find a little bit of solemn in the fact that he can affect that. He can control it. And he goes and he, like, beats up a politician who runs the city. And they can get the power back on. And it's like a whole thing. And that arc and Colin Farrell's performance in this whole situation is really, really brilliantly done. And I really love the story they've done with Penguin and his mother. It's kind of like the opposite 
opposite of the Tony Soprano relationship with his mom. I know we always compare the show to The Sopranos, but that relationship is different, where Tony Soprano is always in conflict with his mother. It's always this, this sort of vicious battle. In this situation, you could definitely tell that the Penguin absolutely loves his mom. She is the center of his world, which is why the next two episodes are going to be brilliant, because this episode had an amazing ending, where Sophia has found his mom, and she has found Victor. And if you've seen the preview for next, next week's episode, we know that they capture the Penguin. They capture Oz, which is going to be a brand new situation for him to have to escape from. We know he's not going to die. He's not not going to lose this war. So now we have an interesting situation of how is Oz going to get out of this? How is he going to prevail? It's such a brilliant end. And finally, we have this change in the show, this cliffhanger ending that really leaves the show going towards a much more conflicting, sort of explosive final two episodes that I am so excited for. This was a great episode of television, even if it was a little bit slower, even if it wasn't as action-packed as some of the previous episodes. It's still an amazing, amazing episode of an amazing show. What do you guys think of it? Let me know down below. Make sure to like this video, subscribe for more to know notifications. I'll see you in the next one.